Hi and welcome back, you with Terry from Bonsai Tree. Today I'm going to be walking you through the process of collecting and processing a field-grown trident maple. If you find the following content helpful, then you can thank me by clicking the thanks button just below the video. It's very handy to have a variety of tools at your disposal when digging the trees out. This spade, however, is probably the most useful tool. I have taken a standard squared spade and I've rounded off the edges. And this makes it a lot easier to dig in the ground where my trees are growing, as there are plenty of stones. Before you start digging, it's a good idea to remove any irrigation systems that you have, as this is likely to become damaged whilst digging the trees out. Then clear all the weeds away from the immediate area that you'll be digging in. You can then dig a trench around the tree. When you discover roots, you can chop those roots with an axe. Alternatively, if they're small enough, you can use a lopper. I like to use a tile, which the trees are then planted on and then developed in the field. This makes it easier for the trees to be removed when you eventually do dig them out. But it also dramatically increases the trunk flare at the base of the roots because it forces the roots to grow horizontally before growing down into the soil. While you're filling the hole that you just removed the tree from, it's a good idea to place the tree in some shade or in another protected position so that the roots are not able to dry out. After bringing the tree home, I'm now going to soak it for a couple of days in some clean water. I also like to add a few tablets of aspirin to the solution. The theory behind this is that it has or contains salicylic acid, which is the same as what was uh, the purpose of adding willow branches to water. You can, of course, choose to omit this step. You don't have to use the tablets. There's fairly little scientific evidence to confirm that it does actually help. My sentiment is that if it helps at all, I'm going to try it. Next, I set up my pressure washer, as this is going to help me to remove the field soil from the trunk and from the roots. There's really no risk in bare rooting a deciduous tree, so I like to remove or wash off all the field soil at this point. And now I go in and do some root work using various tools like root cutters, saber saws, as well as hand saws. My goal is that all cuts will have the cut face facing downwards so that the roots can, new roots can develop out of the edge of the cut. If the roots are reduced correctly, the tree should be able to stand at the planting angle that you desire without any assistance. With that done, I'm now going to drop the tree into the container with the prepared water. After a couple of days, you can then fetch the tree and bring it inside the workshop and then proceed to the next step. As you can see, the tile that I used during the development of this tree whilst in the field has done a great job to give me this fabulous trunk flare at the base. Correcting root flaws can take a considerable amount of time. There are two potential fronts to this tree. One front, which is the one that I originally thought I would be using, has a really nice flare. However, there are very few roots that are coming towards the viewer. As a result, I chose the opposite side of the tree, as the roots have a better distribution. With my front now chosen, I need to further reduce some of the roots, and I'm going to mark out those that I need to cut, and the angles of the cuts with some chalk. If you don't have a saber saw, you can use a hand saw, just make sure you use one with very coarse teeth. After making those final cuts, perhaps you need to evaluate the planting angle once again. Check the underside of the tree as well for any pockets that may exist, as these will present challenges for getting growing medium into them. I personally prefer to use a wooden box for this stage of the tree's development, but if you don't have one and can't make one, then you can of course use a ceramic, a suitable ceramic container, alternatively a plastic tub of sorts. I exclusively use pumice to grow collected trees into and in the bottom layer, the drainage layer, I will be using the medium particle size. For the middle zone, I'm using the small particle size of pumice.
I like to use the rubber from a tire inner just to protect the roots where the wire is making contact with them. I then fill the remainder of the volume of the container with fine pumice. The potting of the tree is now completed. I can now just share a few of my thoughts with you of where I'm going to be focusing my energies with this tree in the immediate future. This scar, which was the result of a trunk chop, is largely healed whilst the tree was still in the field. This scar still has some healing to do, but with trident maples, it's not something to be concerned about as it happens fairly quickly. You can already see the callus forming over the scar. This process can be accelerated by scraping off some of the bark at the edge and exposing the live cambium below. If you found that content helpful and you'd like to thank me for it, please do so now by clicking the thanks button just below the video. For now the tree will be placed in a shaded and protected spot until it shows good signs of new spring growth. Any growth that develops during the course of the season ahead will be allowed to grow uncut. I will also start fertilizing the tree in about a month's time to support that new growth. It's important to understand that with field-grown trees, they have a tremendous amount of stored nutrients which they're able to use to put on this first flush of growth, which is the reason why I'm able safely to reduce the root system to such an extent. However, this is not a step that you can do with a tree that's been in a container for a number of years. It is critical, therefore, that you perform this step now because otherwise you will not have an opportunity in the future and find it difficult to find a suitable ceramic container. Thank you very much for joining me and until next time, take care and goodbye.